A paper cup is a disposable cup made out of paper and often lined or coated with plastic or wax to prevent liquid from leaking out or soaking through the paper. It may be made of recycled paper and is widely used around the world. Paper cups have been documented in Imperial China, where paper was invented by 2nd century BC. Paper cups were known as qi pei and were used for the serving of tea. They were constructed in different sizes and colors, and were adorned with decorative designs. Textual evidence of paper cups appears in a description of the possessions of the Yu family, from the city of Hangzhou. The modern paper cup was developed in the 20th century. In the early 20th century, it was common to have shared glasses or dippers at water sources such as school faucets or water barrels in trains. This shared use caused public health concerns. Alvin Davison, biology professor at Lafayette College, published with the sensational title, Death in School Drinking Cups, in Technical World magazine in August 1908. The article was reprinted and distributed by the Massachusetts State Board of Health in November 1909. Based on these concerns, and as paper goods became cheaply and cleanly available, local bans were passed on the shared use cup. One of the first railway companies to use disposable paper cups was the Lackawanna Railroad, which began using them in 1909. By 1917, the public glass had disappeared from railway carriages, replaced by paper cups even in jurisdictions where public glasses had yet to be banned. Paper cups are also employed in hospitals for health reasons. In 1942 the Massachusetts State College found in one study that the cost of using washable glasses, reused after being sanitized, was 1.6 times the cost of using single-service paper cups. These studies, as well as the reduction in the risk of cross-infection, encouraged the use of paper cups in hospitals. Dixie Cup is the brand name for a line of disposable paper cups that were first developed in the United States in 1907 by Lawrence Lillen, an inventor in Boston. He was concerned about germs being spread by people sharing glasses or dippers at public supplies of drinking water. Lullen developed an ice-cooled water vending machine with disposable cups. And with another Bostonian, Hugh Moore, embarked on an advertising campaign to educate the public and to market his machine, principally to railroad companies. Professor Davison's study was instrumental in abolishing the public glass and opening the door for the paper cup. Soon, the devices, which would dispense cool water for one cent, became standard equipment on trains. After Lawrence Lowen invented his paper cup and corresponding water fountain, he started the American Water Supply Company of New England in 1908 located in Boston. The company began producing the cup as well as the water vendor. Lowen organized the American Water Supply Company of New York as well as the American Water Supply Company of New Jersey with the help of Hugh Moore. Instead of producing the cups and fountains, these subsidiary companies were charged with the sale and distribution of Llewellyn's products. In 1909 Lullen and Moore started the Public Cup Vendor Company in New York in order to lease their vendor machines. Their primary customers were railroads so that the devices could be implemented on passenger train cars. After many states started to ban the common drinking cup in public places, steady orders for Llewellyn's machine began to roll in. The success of Lullen and Moore's territorial companies inspired them to incorporate into the individual drinking cup company of New York in 1910. The Dixie Cup was first called, Health Cup. But from 1919 it was named after a line of dolls made by Alfred Schindler's Dixie Doll Company in New York. Success led the company, which had existed under a variety of names, to call itself the Dixie Cup Corporation and move to a factory in Wilson, Pennsylvania. Atop the factory was a large water tank in the shape of a cup. In 1957, Dixie merged with the American Can Company. The James River Corporation purchased American Can's paper business in 1982. The assets of James River are now part of Georgia Pacific, a subsidiary of Coke Industries, the second largest privately owned company in the United States. In 1983, production moved to a modern factory in Forks, Pennsylvania. The original factory in Wilson has sat vacant ever since. The closing of the factory also prompted Conrail to abandon the Eastern and Northern Railroad branch, of which Dixie Cups was the last major customer. In 1969, the Dixie Cup logo was created by Saul Bass, a graphic designer known for his motion picture title sequences. The coupon collector's problem is sometimes called the Dixie Cup problem. Most paper cups are designed for a single use and then disposal. Very little recycled paper is used to make paper cups because of contamination concerns and regulations. Since most paper cups are coated with plastic, then both composting and recycling of paper cups is uncommon because of the difficulty in separating the polyethylene in the recycling process of said cups. As of 2016, there are only two facilities in the UK able to properly recycle PE-coated cups. In the absence of such facilities, the cups are taken to landfill or incinerated. James Cropper's reclaimed fiber facility was opened by Hum the Queen in July 2013 and recovers both the plastic and paper from the cups.
ensuring nothing is wasted from the recycling process. Although paper cups are made from renewable resources, paper products in a landfill might not decompose, or can release methane, if decomposed anaerobically. A US company, Smart Planet Technologies has developed a new coating on paper cups. Folding cartons called earth coating so they are certified universally recyclable in conventional paper recycling systems. Paper cups with earth coating have received the highest AAA rating for recycling from Der Grün Punkt, a certifying body for recycling in the EU. Smart Planet Technologies Licensee Debt Pack. Along with Paper Shredder Shred X have set up commercial recycling systems for paper cups with earth coating, branded, Recycle Me, used in recycled paper products such as copy paper, gift wrap, and paper bags. Debt Pack declared the takeaway cup problem solved in Australia. Subsequently, Australia's Department of Defense, along with globally recognized recycler Veolia, have teamed up to recycle the department's paper cups, as part of their War on Waste. In 2017, the Finnish board manufacturer Kotkamils launched a new kind of cupboard, which uses no wax or plastic for waterproofing, and thus can be recycled as part of the normal paper and board waste stream, biodegraded, or even composted in small quantities. The manufacture of paper usually requires inorganic chemicals and creates water effluents. Paper cups may consume more non-renewable resources than cups made of polystyrene foam. A life cycle inventory of a comparison of paper versus plastic cups shows environmental effects of both with no clear winner. Polyethylene PE, is a petroleum-based coating on paper cups that can slow down the process of biodegrading of the paper it coats. Polylactic acid PLA, is a biodegradable bioplastic coating used on some paper cups. PLA is a renewable resource and is certified compostable in industrial composting facilities, which means that when it biodegrades, it does not leave behind any toxic residues. Although PLA lined cups are the only paper cups which can be composted fully, they can contaminate the waste stream, reportedly making other recycled plastics unsaleable. Prior to 2012, paper cups can only be recycled at a specialized treatment facility regardless of the lining. A study of one paper coffee cup with sleeve shows that the CO2 emissions is about 0.253 kg per cup with sleeve, including paper from trees, materials, production and shipping. The habitat loss from one 16-ounce paper coffee cup with a sleeve is estimated to be 0.09 square meters. Over 6.5 million trees were cut down to make 16 billion paper coffee cups used by U.S. in 2006, using 4 billion U.S. gallons of water and resulting in 253 million pounds of waste. Overall, U.S. Americans use 58% of all paper cups worldwide, amounting to 130 billion cups. Currently, I am worried about the environmental problems caused by disposable paper cups. As a result, each country is encouraging the use of tumblers instead of disposable paper cups.